Hello again, this is Kyle. Let's write some code. Today we're going to be talking about Ember computer properties. And if you're brand new to Ember, then I recommend you check out an earlier video I did about getting started with Ember. So Ember computer properties are a way to transform the data that you get from a server to a, a format that your views can more easily display. So for instance, I'm building this bears list component here, and I've mocked up some HTML here of how I want it to look. Uh, I'm going to go here to my terminal. I'm going to type npm start to get our server uh, fired up here. Um, and we can see here that this is uh, this is what we basically want to display. We want to display the total number of bears that we have in our list uh, and maybe five bears at a time and then we can click show more to show more in that list. And just a quick recap here, we have this uh, static file, the static JSON file with the list of bears that we're going to request from the server. And in our application route, our model hook that gets loaded when we visit this route uh, will request this using uh, the jQuery um, Ajax uh, call here to get this file. And this is going to set the model property on our controller. And, our, and so what we're going to do is then we're going to call this uh, bears list uh, component here. And we're going to pass in this model property uh, to a property also named model here in our bears list component. So let's begin by replacing uh, these placeholder values with the properties that we're going to be creating in our, uh, our component. So here, instead of 100, we're going to say uh, total bears. And then here, instead of this list here, we're going to loop through a, um, a property. And we'll just we'll call the property bears, because that's a, that's a good name. Um, and what we're just going to do is use this handlebars uh, syntax here to loop through each, uh, each item in this bears array. And we'll call this not bears, but bear. Uh, so we'll have that available as uh, the, the, the property name bear in, in within our array here. And so we can do an li tag. We can say bear.name. And we're basically translating this, this list here uh, where we have an array here of, of objects that uh, will have a name property in them. So let's start by creating um, a property for our, our total bears. I'm going to go here to our bears list component and add uh, a property total bears here. And then we're going to call Ember computed to create a computed property here. And we're going to give it a function uh, that it will call when it wants to compute to get this property. And so what we have uh, set down from our, um, our application is this model um, array, this property here is being set with the array from the, the data from our server. Uh, we don't need to include it there because we just know it's going to be set there. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to return the length of that because that will give us the total amount of bears that the server has given us. And so we can call this get to get this model property and we can say dot length. And so basically anytime the, the property total bears here is requested from our template, the, uh, it's going to compute this property here and return the length of the bears from our server. And so if you go here to our uh, page and refresh, you can see that we have 21 bears available in our model property. Now it's important to remember that these properties, these computer properties are lazily computed. So I could say lazy here, I can console log out lazy. And so anytime we want to compute this property, uh, it will, it should log out lazy here. And so we have so far have requested this property once here in our template uh, total bears. And so if you go here, you'll see that we have uh, it, it console logging out lazy. But if we go ahead and comment out this uh, total bears here, you'll notice that it no longer will log out lazy. That's because no this, this property is not being requested, so it doesn't bother computing it yet. Now computer properties will also cache the value and only recompute if they need to. So for instance, if I uh, had multiple calls to total bears here, let's just copy and paste in a bunch of things, you would expect that each time we request this variable that it would recompute this property, but that's not true. It caches the value and it makes it more efficient. And so you see here in our, our terminal or, or our console that we only have one call to lazy. That's because the first time it computed and then the subsequent times is just using the cached value. So let's go ahead and clean all of that up and remove this. So now there's a problem with our, our computer property here. Uh, we are getting the length of the model uh, when it's computed, but what happens when we add a bear to the model um, or remove a bear? Um, this is no longer going to be correct. 
uh, the the number if, if you know the server has reported or some kind of action has added some um, bears to our, our model um, you know this property will not update so what we need to do is we need to tell this property that it to observe another property and recompute this property when that other property changes and so since our model here is uh, an array and we only care about when a bear has been added to it or removed to it, we can use this, uh, this special syntax here in Ember that will observe the length of the array here. Um, and anytime that length changes, then it will recompute and run this property. So now anytime a uh, model changes, our total bears will also get updated with the latest length of the array. So that handles our total bears, but now let's create our bears property here, which we want to just be an array of bears that we print out the names here. So we'll go ahead and back to our component here and we'll create our new uh, property called bears. We'll say ember computed. And we also want to watch the length because anytime things are added to uh, added or removed from our model, we want this bears list to be updated as well. Now the difference between this array and the model array is that this one's only going to be displaying five bears at a time. So we can say this get model, we'll get the model, and then we're just going to slice off here uh, the first five bears in that uh, in that array and return that bears, which then gets uh, looped through and printed out here. And so you can see here that uh, we are only displaying five bears of this 21 bears. But now we want to be able to show more uh, with uh, the clicking this show more button. And so what we need to do here is create an action. So when this button is clicked, it calls this action and we'll just name this action show more here. And then we'll go here to our bears list uh, component and handle this action by creating a function here in an actions object. And this is going to increment a new property. We're gonna create a property called page. So we know which page that we're on uh, when we're slicing here. And so I'm gonna create this page. I'm just gonna default it to zero. And then I'm gonna say this uh, increment property. This is a, uh, an Ember thing that you can just, it's call, It's like calling set, but it increments it, uh, a property by, uh, if you just do this way, then it'll just increment it by one, or you can supply uh, a, a number that'll increment the property by. And so this is going to change, uh, anytime this button's called, it's going to increment this page property by five here. So that's great, because we can go here, we can click this button, and behind the scenes, it's incrementing this, uh, this page here. But our bears array here is not updating, um, and so so what we need to do is we now need to update this computer property to also observe this page property. And so we can do so by doing it this way. So now anytime the page property changes, it's going to recompute this. And so we can change our slice here to now use this page property. So let's say get page. And we'll say we'll start at the current page value and then we'll say page uh, plus five. Uh, to display five bears at a time here. And so now when we go to our page and we click show more, it will go through five bears at a time. So in the code here, you might be noticing a trend. Anywhere that we call this get on a property, we are observing that property here. You can see page and we say get property. Now that's a general good rule of thumb is that anytime you call get within a computer property, you should probably be observing the property that you're getting. It's not always true, but most of the time it is true. So the next thing we wanna do is to be able to to click on each of these bear names to favorite each one and for whatever reason our server does not provide a property for us to track which of the bears we have favorited here so what we want to do is when our uh, application model route grabs this data and sets it as the model property on our controller and then passes this down to our bears list component here as the model property here when it sets that property we want to capture that and transform that uh, that property into uh, to include the favorited uh, property on it. And so we can do that by, an, in our model property here, when it's set, we can create this as a computed property. And instead of passing it a function here, we're going to pass it this object. And one of the keys we'll call is set. And so anytime a set is called, it will call this function and supply the key name and then uh, the value of, of what it actually is setting here. And in our case, it's going to be bears. And so then we can go through and we can map through those bears and transform those bears into uh, the, um, the object or the array that we want it to. 
So we'll go here to each bear and we'll add this uh, favorited property and we'll default it to false. Now at the moment here that each of these items in this uh, array here that it's going through is a plain old JavaScript object and we need to make them Ember objects because if they're Ember objects then we can call get and set on them and it will fire off all the necessary observers and bindings to make all of this stuff work. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say Ember object create and we're going to pass it in this plain old JavaScript object and turn it into an Ember object. And so now as we set this bear we have access to this uh, favorited property on each of our bears to use. So let's go ahead and modify our template now to indicate which of our bears have been starred here. And so we can do this by saying if bear favorited, then we display a star here. And so we'll just add uh, an emoji star. Um, this is a good one. So now if uh, favorited is true on any bear, it's going to display this emoji star. So the, now the next thing we want to do is we want to add an action. So when this is clicked, when this li tag is clicked, uh, we can favorite this uh, individual bear. So we'll call a, uh, an action named favorite and we'll supply in the bear that, we're, um, that we want to favorite here. So then we go up here to our bears list and we handle this action, this favorite action. So we'll say favorite and it's going to give us the bear that it wants to favorite. And so we can simply do uh, favorite this bear by toggling the property. So we can say toggle property and it's going to be the favorited property. And so all this is going to do is that if this favorited property is false, it's going to set it to true. And if it's true, then it's going to set it to false and uh, flip on and off uh, this favorited um, this favorited emoji star here. So now when we go to our bears here, we can go ahead and click on individual ones and it will put a star next to it and even remove the stars to unfavorite. So now the last thing we want to do is we want to show how many bears the user has favorited. So let's just add a little room here and say you have favorited uh, we'll, we'll create a new uh, computer property here. You have favorited favorited bears. So this will be the number of favorited bears that we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and create this property here in our controller and it'll be an ember computed property. And I'm gonna use the alternative syntax here. So uh, by default, if you just pass in a function, then it's gonna assume that it's a getter. But in case you're already, you know, you're handling the setter, you can also use uh, get here. And this will, uh, this, was, this will work the same as just supplying a function. It's just, this way is a little bit shorter, but this way is a little bit more explicit if you prefer to have, uh, you know, a getter and a setter explicitly defined on, on your computer property. So all we need to do now is to return uh, the, the favorited bears here. So we'll get this model and we'll say filter by. So what we want to do is we only want the, the bears that have been favorited. So we'll say filter by favorited and only the ones that equal true. And then we can return the length. So this is saying, get me this model here, get me this model property here and only give me the ones that have been favorited to true and give me the length of that here. And you can see that here we have favorited zero bears. But when we click, you notice that this bears is not updating because we are not monitoring uh, this favorited property. So when the status of this favorited property changes, we want to recompute this property. And so to do that, we're not gonna be monitoring the length of the array like we used to. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna monitor each property within that array. And the property that we want to uh, monitor is the, or observe, is the favorited property. So now what this says is that anytime this, uh, anytime any favorited property within this uh, model array changes, uh, recompute this favorited bears property here. And so now when we go here and we favorite our bears, you can see that the number has, starts to increase uh, and it recomputes every single time that property changes. So I hope this has helped you learn more about Ember computer properties. And if it has, then please share the video and help others learn. Um, and if you want to see more videos, then please subscribe. Thanks again for watching.